Okay, everyone. Um, I think you should be able to hear me. It looks like my microphone's on right now. Um, I realized that after I started um, assigning lessons on Pearson, uh, you're gonna have to go in a different way to find the lessons. And I didn't know that. So um, I'm gonna show you a different way to get on Pearson so that you can find all of the lessons that are assigned to you. Now this might look a little different because I am going in under myself. Um, I just actually uh, was on the phone with another parent and student walking them um, through this so I was able to see what it looks like on your guys's end which was very helpful but go ahead and click on the Pearson Realize just like before and here we go it doesn't want to do what it's supposed to let's try that again let me exit out of all the previous things um, from Pearson let's start with a clean slate okay there we go so I clicked into Pearson and I'm gonna click the Envision and it's gonna bring you to the screen where this says browse, classes and data. And if you're logged in as your child, this um, previously I had you go to browse and then enter in the page number. You don't need to do that now. What you can do is come to classes and um, when you click in here, it's going to have due dates of assignments and everything that I have already assigned. Like I said, mine is going to look a little different. So I'll go ahead and I can view my class. Yours isn't going to look like this. But here's today's um, assignment. Yours won't look like this. Okay, this is how I can see what your lessons are going to look like. This is what it's going to look like when you click on that particular lesson uh, for the day that it's day and time it's due. I apologize for the, all the barking. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. But you, all you have to do is click through. Uh, step one, it's finishing the student edition, working through the student edition. Um, and then you go to step two. Uh, is the solve and share, then the visual learning, and then the quick check. Um, the quick check is where I get the, um, basically like the test scores from. Okay, so it tells me when you have completed uh, all of these things. And then of course the quick check gives you a percentage score. Um, I hope that helps. This should be a lot easier. It should cut down on uh, printing because it's just going to tell me that you did this. Um, if I see with the quick check that there's some uh, issues in understanding, I might in the in the notes uh, request a um, I might request a one on one. I, I am going to start probably requesting some one on one um, lessons uh, to kind of remediate some with some of my students that are um, are not understanding things. Um, so uh, just just be you know just just be looking at the feedback that I give on the lessons on the grades. Um, I spend a lot of time trying to type some very specific feedback to uh, what you guys are doing. If, if you know, it's, uh, it turns out for each subject to have at least 40 uh, things to, to uh, go through uh, and grade per subject per day. So um, when I'm not making these videos or on a Zoom meeting or making the lessons and assigning them, I'm grading them. So um, I really look at that feedback so that you can under, understand um, what's going on. Um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any more questions, if you want me to do 
a, uh, a video to explain something else, let me know and I will do my very best to get one out to you guys. Um, watch, watch the videos. They, they can be very helpful. Um, I hope that you guys are having a great time relaxing and uh, I hope to see you guys very soon. I really do. Miss you. Bye.